so in this video we are going to see the project settings all right so uh, earlier we created this particular project but i'm gonna start from the scratch to make it easy so you know we have given some um, uh, options in which we have the pre-built pages for example product launch in this case you will find all these pages pre-built uh, let's say host a webinar in this case you will find all these pages pre-built sales funnel you know you will find all the pages pre-built and uh, you know all the other options uh, just in case you want to launch a course in that case you need to select this particular option okay uh, in this case I'm gonna select to create a custom funnel right so timeline nomination for example and uh, at the time of recording this video, you know, we don't have the templates added to Flixi as of now. So we'll be adding it depending upon whenever you're watching this video, you might see all the templates over here, right? So right now I'm going to select the blank option, okay? And once you have the page, you can, you know, you need to click on edit page. So now we have the editor, right? And uh, you need to click on this plus sign to see some of the, you know, uh, design blocks that we have already created for you that you can simply go ahead, click on them and you can use them for your business. At the same time, you know, if you want to do something from scratch, so you, we have all the components over here, section rows, elements, forms, others. So everything is right over here. All that you need to do is select and, you know, start using them. Now, one thing that you need to remember is, which is very important is that you need to select a section first all right and inside the section you need to select the row all right so section row and then you know you you need to select a element so the sequence of things has to remain the same right it has to be section row and then the element so just to show you the difference if you will see the section is this purple in color right then when it comes to let's say the um, row this is something which is green in color and when it comes to element this is something which is orange in color right so this is this is the quick difference so now if i want to add you know as many elements as i want so let's say the subheadline the 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 video all right and let's say the button so i have all the uh, stuff over here right and if you will see this is this was my uh, purple color section right but at the same time i also have this bigger section which is outside because you know if you want to give it some color you want to add some background so for that purpose we have also given this option right so you need to click on settings all right and over here you need to click on background okay and the next thing that you need to do is you need to select let's say if you want to add a color over there for example you know you want to make it black maybe reddish you know you wanna you wanna select any color so you can do that or maybe you can keep it white and let's say you want to add a image in the background for example so you can select this particular image option over here so it will add a background image right so let's click on images now this is a new account so i don't have any images over here so let's click on browse and what i have done is i have already added an image in my desktop for the purpose of this tutorial so i need to click on upload image and you know that's how you know my image is there and i need to select the image i just need to click on it once and my image will be loaded right over here now here's the thing that you know uh, this this uh, text color is not looking great over this uh, dark background so i need to select text settings and you know i can change the color of the text i can increase the size i can you know make it bold for example right i, I if i wanna uh, make it yellowish maybe to you know highlight it more so i can do that and then if you will see i have selected the second one right the second uh, sub headline and once again i want to change the color so i can do that and similarly you can you know all the settings are available right over here right so you can you can plug and play around everything right so all the text settings are right over here so i'm going to show you all the settings in the upcoming videos 
right now uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna show you the quick overview of all the elements that we have right so let's say i want to click on next section right i want to add something over here and you know once again a row right okay so my battery is low <laughs> it's okay uh then the next thing may be a headline right and i can add you know a lot of things for example a paragraph text let's suppose if i want to add some text so all the you know it is like one click easy if i want to add an image i can do that right at the same time let's suppose uh, i want to add a divider right so i can do that um let's say no thanks i'm going to come to that right no thanks is not required for you right now i'm going to come to that right if i want to add some icon right so i can do that right over here right um let's say let's keep on adding the other elements for example you know i want to add a list group maybe i want to add some bullet pointers so that's how you can do it maybe a progress bar right something like this so that this is how i can do it right and uh, uh, um maybe a quote section right if you want to uh highlight something that way so you know that's how simply you can keep on adding this stuff and it it's like one click easy and you know let's suppose so this is a row by the way let's click on cross let's suppose you know i want to add another row over here which is like two column for example and let's say i want to make something like this for example i want to add an image over here add another image over here right and let's say um i can give a headline right below this image for example i'm adding a testimonial right so this is how it's uh, you know looking like a testimonial section for example a paragraph over here and another paragraph over here right so this is how you can make your testimonial section for example right and uh, again you can keep on you know playing around for example the background uh let's go to the background color maybe i want to give it some color right lightish color maybe i want to make it even a bit further lightish so i can take it above right something like this a bit lighter so that's how i can do it right and then you can change the text and stuff for example let's say this is about a section for example right i want to make it bold you can make it bold right over here right or you can simply you know select con uh, command b or control b depending upon the system that you are using and what else i mean you can keep on changing the stuff for example you want to increase the size right and uh, yeah you want to make it bold once again you can do that right um so yeah all the settings are right over here let's suppose i want to add another section which is like three column so that's how you can do it right i i want to put a video over here let's suppose i want to add a image in the middle one i want to add a uh, another video over here right over here right so i can do that and uh, yeah so you know we have three column we have all the different kind of settings over here right so if you want to have let's say something like um, you know you want to put an image over here or text option over here so any kind of stuff that you want to do you can simply do it it's like everything is one click easy and uh, whenever your page is ready all that you need to do is click on publish and you know your simply your page would be uh, published right away right so if you will see you can see this dialog box over here please wait we are publishing your funnels right so just in a couple of moments you will see the message that the page is published as you can see updates this will appear and you can click on actions click on published url right and you will find the page right over here whatever we have created is right over here and the best part is that you know if i want to drag it like this right you will see all of this is completely mobile optimized right this is fully mobile optimized so you don't need to worry about the mobile optimization and stuff this is fully mobile optimized right so uh, this is the complete uh, um you know overview settings of projects and how to create the pages right i'm going to talk about it more in detail in the upcoming videos all right uh, so yeah this is it for this particular video i'm going to see you in the next one